It's my privilege and honor to introduce a technical and business innovator and leader tonight. The man is M.K. Tsai. I remember I first met M.K. shortly after I went to Taiwan, and that was about 30 years ago. He was introduced to me as one of a group of people, engineers, that started working on IC uh, from uh, 1975 on. But MK attracted my attention particularly because most of that group were process engineers. And MK was one of the few in that group that were design engineers. Indeed, MK continued to work on IC design for many decades. First 10 or 12 years in ITRI, the Industrial Technology Research Institute in Taiwan, and then uh, another 10 years or so in UMC. However, his technical and leadership talents really started to blossom when UMC spun off MediaTek in 1998. He identified business opportunities for MediaTek first in the late 90s. First, the business opportunities were CD-ROMs, DVD-ROMs, and so on. And uh, shortly afterwards, in the middle 2000s, he jumped into feature phone. And then shortly after that, into smartphone. Indeed, in the 90s, an electronic industry was springing up very quickly in China. And MK identified the need of that industry. They did not just need IC chips. They needed a turnkey solutions. And MediaTek provided turnkey solutions for the Chinese market. Now, his business leader qualities were testified to by the great success story that MediaTek has had ever since its founding. From very little, it is now the third largest fabulous company in the world. And it's also the largest in Asia. From relatively small revenue, it is now, it now has a revenue of five or six billion dollars. This is indeed unusual accomplishment. I think that MediaTek and uh, MK Tsai both still have a very bright future ahead of them. And again, uh, as I said at the beginning, it is a pleasure to introduce him as the award winner of the Morris Chan Leadership Award this year. Thank you. When you meet MK, what you see is a very quiet, introverted, carefully listening person. And frankly, it takes a little of, bit of, of courage to ask him a question, to then discover what in English is called, still waters run deep. Because his answers, his commentary, invariably is very insightful, multidimensional, and very well grounded. 
So he has brought together this grounding with a learning by doing over a long period of time to ultimately build one of the great companies in the world. And that is a remarkable achievement. He reserved the rural ethics of continuously improvements in hardworking. He exercised his intelligence and leadership to manage his companies and also with strong belief and passion to grow his company, he becomes so successful. I'm very impressed with MK's strategic focus on opportunity versus challenges. It's led media tech from chipsets for optical drives, to CD, to DVD, to turnkey solutions for phones, to smartphones and tablets. It really shows how a company can survive and thrive in a very competitive and emerging market. Using MediaTek's uh, product and technology, we will unleash everyone's potential. So this is our mission called the Everyday Genius for everyone using MediaTek's uh, technology and product. And this is our expectation for MediaTek's future technology also. It was not just driving the technology forward, it's also driving the business model forward to provide solutions that made it possible for a whole set of companies in China specifically to start growing in that emerging market. That is a great accomplishment. The most important thing is you have always to get yourself prepared to keep learning, adapt to the market and the external environment. So, Technology industry is an ever-evolving industry. He not only contributes significantly to our semiconductor industry, but I really admire the way he goes about it. He's humble, a great listener, and always learning. And he's given a lot back to our industry by sharing his insights on globalization, management theory, innovation, and strategy. I think uh, receiving such a award certainly is a big recognition to me and also to me that take the whole company's employee. I really like to share with our total employee to so thanks for we have been working so hard together so that to make me that take an important player in the industry. And this award also especially with his name of Dr. Morris Chen's name. And without Morris, there will be no TSMC. Without TSMC, the foundry fabric business model will not be, become so prosperous over the last 20 to 30 years. So getting this award with Morris Chang's name, I think is also important from a fabric company's point of view. So I have to thank to all our employees and also thanks for TSMC as a supplier to us and also Morris for his help constantly. Congratulations, MK, for this uh, prestigious Morris Chang Lifetime Achievement Award. You clearly served as a role model for the future generation of entrepreneur and engineers. And uh, please do not retire. The industry needs you the GSA needs you. So keep up the good work. Once again, congratulations. Congratulations, MK. MK, I would like to represent the board member and chair of the Asia Pacific Leadership Council of GSA to send you our congratulations. But moreover, I want to represent the Taiwanese Semiconductor Industry Association and the, all the Taiwanese semiconductor companies to send you our highest regards for you to win this very prestige and honorable global award. My reaction to MK receiving the award is to immediately want to congratulate him. You know, the juxtaposition of Morris Chang Award with MK Tsai as the recipient illustrates the two poles of an industry, manufacturing and chip design, that really characterize this semiconductor powerhouse that Taiwan is. 
He is a key contributor, a founding father of this industry. His name belongs there. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 2015 Dr. Morris Chang Exemplary Leadership Award, M.K. Sai.